Once you've created some reports on dashboards, you can embed them within existing web pages or applications allowing you to provide in-context insights where they're most likely to get used. We'll start in the Magellan Beyond Reporting Server where we have an application with a simple HTML page to launch reports. So you see we've got three icons here. Each one of these uh, has a simple report behind it and simply pass a URL uh, into, a, into a frame or into this case into a full page. I can do this for both reports uh, and to dashboards. So if we want to do this with one of our existing reports we created earlier, let's have a look first at our report we created. And the easiest way to integrate one of these reports is to use the link to this page. So if I click on link to this page, I've got two options here. One is to create a link or hyperlink that I can send to an email, or in this case, copy or put into another web page as well. I also have HTML I can copy and paste, and I'll show that later. So first we'll take the URL and we'll copy this. And we'll take this back into the HTML page that launches those reports. So this is the HTML page. Uh, it had three sample visualizations that were reports, uh, and then one dashboard that is a report. And I copied one of those rows and made it easy for me to put down here. So I've got uh, an area I can uncomment. And I did create a screenshot of my report, and I'm using that, this thumbnail class, to make a small version of that. And I'll simply paste my URL into this area for waiting for href. So I'll save this and go back to my HTML page. And here I can hit refresh. And now below I've got a new link to my report. So if I click on that link, it'll launch my report for me. All right, so if I want to embed the report instead, let's go back to our report. And this time we'll copy the HTML link and go back to our HTML page. All right, the HTML, I also left myself an area down here commented out, so I'll uncomment these divs and let my space, self a space to embed this report. So I'll simply paste this uh, HTML in here and um, I'll come back and explain it uh, in a minute, but for now uh, I'll simply save this and we'll go back to our HTML page. So now if I hit refresh on our HTML page, Since we are running this HTML page outside of the server now, running on my local desktop, it is prompting me for the username and password. But this can also be uh, passed in or single sign-on can be supported, so it doesn't have to show for the user. And now below I have my uh, embedded report. All right, let's go back to our HTML and have a look at what that JavaScript really looks like. So the JavaScript that gets loaded, uh, when you click link to this page, uh, I've broken it all out here. So it contains a quick link to the JavaScript API uh, tag library or library. Um, it um, contains some code to load this viewer. Uh, there are a few uh, request options passed in, like the enterprise repository type, the name of the uh, volume where you have all your reports if you have more than one, any custom parameters. Uh, then we initialize uh, your your viewer here. Uh, we can pass in a username and password if we, if we need to. If we don't, it'll prompt you. And then we also tell it when we get done to run this uh, my init function. So this init function simply associates the viewer itself with the physical container on your HTML page. So we've got a div down here with an ID of container one, and that's where this all this report or dashboard content will land. Uh, we can set a size here uh, for the viewer. Uh, we set the report design, so in this case we say uh, which report design it is and which version. You can also decide if you want to show only part of a report, so just a, a chart or just a table. And there's two steps there. You've got to set the bookmark in the report, like spin chart, and then you've got to ask for the bookmark here, so set the report spin chart here. I can also decide to show the toolbar uh, uh, on or off, so at the top. Uh, there's lots more uh, options for the JavaScript API. In fact, there's a full REST API as well for integrating and uh, getting at this data as well. So there's lots of different APIs to look at. Uh, as far as applications go, let's go back to the BN reporting server. Reporting applications can be hosted directly in the scalable BN reporting server. Or reports can be launched from within another application in your organization. The applications you create can look like dashboards and reports. As you see in this example here, They can also look a little more modern, so as you see in this example here, taking on the style of your website. So creating applications is easy. Let's take a quick peek at the analytics designer. So in the designer here, to create a reporting application, I simply create a new project. 
That new project will fall under Business Intelligence and Reporting Tools project, and I can simply select a Sample Reports project. I can name it like I like and click Finish. So I've got a report project here. I can add my designs and data objects and library items as well. And once I've finished with that, I can simply publish that to send that out to the BI and reporting server. Magellan BI and reporting makes BI pervasive in the enterprise and improves decision making by enabling IT to enrich any application with insightful and highly interactive reports and dashboards and empowering business users with the answers and insights they need in context.